This is smithy.tv. at home because the episodes are currently up to date thank you for <laughs> yeah. watching and hey Somehow before we even get any further off. bitten fans thank you very much for uh, for all the love for the steve lund episode i know because that's just been <laughs> insane just have to bring him back right Someday. he loves us so not a problem now we are welcoming back all of, to the studio the first for the first time because we've chatted with her a couple times mm -hmm. well i've chatted with her a couple times we've, we as a team have chatted with her once <laughs> Our friend Kay Hewitt. Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> She's right there. I'm right here. But I, I want to go back a little further, though, because we actually yes. met Kate before Kate knew who we were. Uh oh. Before we were who we were. That's true. We weren't doing any of this. There, there was a Polaris a couple, a number of years ago, where your brother was there and uh, and Paul McGillian as well. Where? No, it was. Uh, or was it the one after that? It was that? the other David, Nickel. I think, wasn't it both Davids there? It might have been both Davids, yeah, I think it was. Because there was Davids. a whole oh, thing where yeah. they were going to shave him on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Did I crash that one? Or was yeah. I yes, you did. Okay. It's awesome. So, so I was shameless, even back then. Yeah. <laughs> so we were lucky enough to have snapped a picture uh -oh. of me and Kate way back when. I don't think I do remember. Watch that. Kaylee yeah. to see if <laughs> that actually So we had this, and then we also had the now infamous, which you may have not have seen, who know. farted picture. Uh-oh. Which is not that one, which is a good picture of me, but there's the who farted. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so actually good. the you farted. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yes, I remember. I know yeah. exactly. I remember what skirt I was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually looking at that, and I'm plugging the fact yet again, I have lost so much weight. <laughs> you sure have. I noticed the moment I saw you. Right? Yeah. I'm looking good. I That's am now crazy. down like a shirt size, everybody. I'm down, down a shirt size. Did you do something or were you, were you just like, I, uh, you woke up and you're like, where's all my weight? That's exactly what I said. I said so what happened? <laughs> uh, all I've done is uh, it's just uh, like one day a week, usually Monday, I, I do a water fast. Okay. And then I've cut like 80% of sugar completely out of my diet. Wow. And that's, that's literally all it took. Are you really angry and mean on Mondays? No. Oh, okay. No, because, I mean... Is if, he really angry and mean? <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> it's not true. But, yeah, it's just, you know, I mean, if I'm not working on the Monday, then I will, I'll eat and I'll do it on the Tuesday. It's just mm -hmm. easier to do a water fast while you're at work because there's always something on the go, so you don't notice as okay. much that you're not eating. But, yeah, that's all it took, and I'm still going. So. Wow. Yeah, Were you a big pop drinker? I was, but I stopped yeah. drinking pop... A long time a ago. A long time ago. Because I'm still like yeah. way out drinking in. <laughs> and in every category. <laughs> <laughs> Except water. It's not necessarily Because he, he gets to catch up on Monday, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've been known to put away the vodka and the, mm. the, the rest of the booze. I'm almost on that 140 proof from you, bro. Yes. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol anymore. And you're a vegetarian. I am a vegetarian. But I was a vegetarian when we first That's met. That's true. Certainly. Are you going vegan or are you sticking? I am vegan. You are vegan. Yes. Okay, cool. With my leather boots that I'm wearing <laughs> and my leather bag. And my leather cap. Happens. Happens. No. <laughs> Somebody but ate. I'm doing my best. Yeah. And I, yeah, it's been about a month. Cool. So it's wow. very new. Um, but I always feel so great, even though I'm eating mostly vegan cookies. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll have vegan cookies for breakfast and I'm like, it counts. vegan cookies. Yeah, with you know sugar and everything. But um, <laughs> But I just always feel better. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Huh. And then I generally end up giving up because I don't cook very much. And so I'll get this panicked feeling of like, 
what am I doing? <laughs> but no, it feels it feels good. That's cool. That's what I it's what I would do if I if I cooked for myself more, I would definitely be vegan all the time. I yeah. feel good about it. And it's all, going well this time. It's pretty easy. I'm all for the idea that sooner well, we know they can do it. That they can make just they can create meat that tastes and smells and looks like meat. Mm. You don't have to hurt the animals. I'm all for that. Do you mean the stuff that's I like think we should just meat? treat them better while they're alive, for starters. What? Well, that's part of it, yeah. Do you mean the stuff that's actual meat that's made in the lab? Yes. Like where it's actually meat? Yes. That confuses me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an opinion on that yet, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't eat it for so really? many reasons. Okay. Yeah. I just think Star Trek, because Star Trek, they talk about it all the time. That it's not real. It just looks real. I'm like, all right. But I eat the fake stuff, like the gluten. See? It's different. <laughs> it sure is. Not made in a lab. I was made in a lab. Not true. Um, <laughs> I was so interested. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to talk to your mom. <laughs> Am I too far away from this, do you think, or is it okay? No, Kaylee would be weak. <laughs> But yeah, you've, because uh, <laughs> the last time you and I spoke was on uh, on the set of Sex After Kids. I feel like that's not true. Are you sure? <laughs> didn't I see you at a screening of Sex After Kids? You did, but we didn't have a chat. Ah. It was like, it was an, a, a... It was a chat with our eyes. It was. And there was a flurry of hugs, which is always good. Okay. And we always... There was the, uh, <laughs> the flurry of hugs from me. Amanda <laughs> Grugel's event where we were all... Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and I got yeah. to introduce you to Corson before you started writing for him. Yeah. Yeah. And then I told everyone I had the job before I was supposed to. <laughs> Whoops. That's all in the past. Yep. It's a successful <laughs> season two already. It doesn't matter. Nothing bad <clears throat> came out of it. So. No. Is season two doing well? I have not been following the... I think it is. It seems to be. I, I can't tell. I haven't followed the ratings. Right? I know. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. Good. It's funny. It's always Good to hear. funny. Yeah. And who doesn't love that cast, though, right? Amazing. So. But yeah, I mean, how was writing for C? Oh, it was so much fun. Mark Farrell is... The, one of the funniest people I've ever met. Mm-hmm. They both are. Both the, the guys who are in charge, Joseph Razzo and Mark Farrell. We get to meet him next week. Oh, sweet. Because he's at the Toronto Screeners Conference. Joseph? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's so nice. He's doing a talk, so I'm looking really forward to that. Nice. So. He's very nice. I had the weirdest thing with him where I met him three times and <laughs> didn't know it was the same person, even though he was heavily involved in my life. Like... <laughs> First time I met him was at a call. I had a callback, a couple of callbacks for the Zoe character. Oh. And then I and then I, I got still life, so I stepped away from the equation. Yeah. Not that I would have got it. She is wonderful. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> She's um, but so I I had met him there. But when you're nervous at auditions, you tend to not, you know, take yeah. in who's there. Um, and then I met him at the film center barbecue. And I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And he, he said, oh, we actually met. <laughs> usually this is the reverse conversation to what I'm used to having. And, uh, and I was like, oh, of course, haha. And then I got hired to write on Seed. And my first day in the writer's room, of course he's going to be there because he's, the, he's like the co-showrunner. Um, we all meet for breakfast before the day starts. And we're all sitting at the table. And he also looks really young, so that throws me. But so he sits down and I was like, hi, I'm Kate. He's like, no. He looked at me like I was out of my mind. And then he's like, I still know who you are. He, and he didn't even introduce himself because it was so embarrassing. And then about five minutes later, everyone's mid-conversation and then my face just goes purple. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know what to do. Because I thought he was one of the new writers. But it's like he has one of those faces that for some reason... My brain erases him <laughs> just every just time. Wow. And he doesn't look like everyone. Like He's a very good-looking man. He's easy to remember. Funny. I have that same problem. Yeah. People just don't remember my face. There you go. It's not what it so is. So it's a compliment. <laughs> it's, it's a compliment. So you know, it's a compliment. You should start trying to convince people that they have already met That's you before. true. Oh, yeah. yeah. Think and about that it. you're just that good-looking that they forgot. That could work. You could probably get a lot of interviews if you were like, we slept together. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember, but... And then people will be so embarrassed. And I'm a little yeah. hurt that you don't remember. So there's that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if you do this small interview, <laughs> well, nobody needs That's to right. know. Yeah. This is a good plan. I'm really proud notes. of you guys that you're not at Starbucks anymore. <laughs> like I feel when you were doing the opening. I'm like, oh, look at this. Here we are. Yep. What we're a huge studio. Hey. It's crazy. Right? Two years. It's, yeah. And you're like. We're still going. That's I know. Insane. I'm going to seize. Hang on. Okay. Do it. 
On camera. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs> But yeah, because you. you've been very busy though as well. I mean, because yes. I do remember during our talk, you had even talked about stepping away from acting to kind of concentrate more on writing. That was the plan. Yeah, and now of course you know you're you've got a bit of a recurring character on Remedy mm -hmm. about to, well about to start recurring. Partially uh, recurring. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly you're, recurring. You're on Degrassi. I am on Degrassi. Yeah. Which you know just adds you to a huge list of awesome people because you know look at the alumni with that right. Yeah. Our good friend Pat. Hey. So. Who I've never met. What? He's awesome. Not yet. Not yet. We even sat in his car. Why? And the DeLorean. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's awesome. an intro from the front Yeah, right? Car. Oh, well, I guess it's the only seat to it. Yeah. yeah. The, seat. the back seat. The seat. The seat. <laughs> but yeah, so you've done that. You've, done, you've just been like busy like acting and writing. You're kind of. Yes. Yeah. It turns out, I wish I had known this at a younger age, but it turns out that if you quit acting, it really improves your acting <laughs> substantially. I did not know that. Kids, drop out of school. You have to believe. You have to believe you're quitting. You have to really, really commit to quitting. And then the phone rings. And then the phone rings, and they're like, "You are so interesting because you don't care." <laughs> In your audition, it felt like you didn't care. Yeah, and then it just a whole bunch of stuff happens. So it's, it's nice. But I'm doing both. I love. I, know. I love the mix. I. I I think I would go a little bit crazy if I was writing all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the hours are like nothing I have ever experienced. It's different. The hours acting, you get a lot of downtime. Yeah. The hours writing, it is basically like being in a meeting where you are part of the conversation the entire time. Wow. Sometimes for 14 or 15 or 16 hours a day. And you work through lunch a lot of times. And I mean, you mm -hmm. eat and work. Well, yeah. They don't feed you. They <laughs> they chain you to the. There's no windows. There's so yeah. it's it's a uh, it's a very very grueling wow. but amazing and rewarding job. Uh, but I, I love acting as a as a break from it, and mm -hmm. then and then all of a sudden at a certain point I'll be like, oh, acting's hard too, and then I go back to <laughs> and I forget that writing's hard. Um, but it's really nice having both. That's cool. And it uses different parts of your your brain. Right. Yeah. So. I just had an accent there for a second. Did you hear that? That was yeah. really weird. A little bit. It used a deeper part of the brain. Because I was talking like Constantine Bing. the Frog. You were kidding. <laughs> I know. <That's> so <laughs> but I love that. I love, though, that, that you're able to balance both of those and you're able to get out there and do that because, you know, I mean, it's no lie. Sue and I have been fans since, well, for me, since you were in Stargate. Like, that's very I, nice. I'm like, that's Kate. And the first time we got to meet you, I'm like, that's Kate. It's and weird. So, I forget why yeah. I was a fan. Yeah, I would forget too. <laughs> it's because you're so good looking. I just completely forgot why I liked you first. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh, so, yeah, and then just to, you know, just to watch that you, you know, you keep writing and you keep working. I love mm -hmm. that. I mean, and I it's, it's got to be. <laughs> It's working. It's working. Well, I love the fact that we're seeing, and this is not meant to come off as sexist as anyway, because there's a lot of that, you know, like. Say it. It's well, nice it's the fact to see that you're a woman. Yeah. In the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but. With my sandwich. <laughs> it always makes me feel like the sexes are equal. But then I, you know, remind myself. <laughs> no, I, I just love the fact that we are seeing more, you know, women in the writing room. Because yeah. you don't hear enough of that. I mean, they just released that poll from HBO where it's, it breaks down the, the writer's room of an HBO series and it's like, like maybe 3% are women. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, really? seriously? How does that happen? I haven't just, encountered uh, it. I mean, I guess that's a really good thing, really good sign, but I have not, my class at the film center was predominantly women. Wicked. Everyone's working now. Awesome. Um, the seed writer's room was more women than men, I believe. The LA Complex room, mm -hmm. Laura Azzopardi and I were both in there. There were five of us, but so three men, two right. women, which is good. Yeah. Um, I think even on Insecurity, there were a ton of women. So, yeah. That's good. wicked. Yeah. I love that. It's because we're in Canada. It's got to be what it is. I think about it in the room. I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. like, let's let this yeah. room talk. You know, it's, 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 not, it's really... Uh, but, and the women are killing it, really. Like, just amazing. Uh, Jen Angles is gonna take over the world, and Jen Daly, and all kinds of great, great Jen writers. Angus. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, Ramona Barker as mm -hmm. well, and all kinds of. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm not worried. 
Which but is HBO good. is a different scene, yeah. right? Yeah. I just I just I have a lot more money. <laughs> well, there's that. So, yeah, I just yeah. I don't understand that mindset. I'm like, if you can write and then do it, who cares who you are? Yeah, the boys club <clears throat> thing I, I haven't really experienced. That's good. Maybe that's a good sign for Canada. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. smart, smart people. <laughs> yeah. But now here's a question though, because sure. with a partial recurring, partial recurring on remedy. <laughs> Any interest in... in Sounds like just parts, parts of you right. are recurring. That's her hand. You actually do see a lot more of my butt than you should. I don't mean, like, without pants on, but I just what mean... What kind of show is this all of a sudden? Why is that dramatic? <laughs> Took a chance. Wow. wow. I do a lot of turning around with the stretcher. It's like, ah! Your character shows up yeah. on cracked again. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. She's not wearing pants again. <laughs> but I mean, well, well most, of your, most of your writing, for the majority, from what I can tell, you yeah. know, L.A. Complex is a bit of a dramedy, and then, you know, Seed being a comedy. Any interest in the same writing, like, for a medical drama, like, Remedy? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. You've got in now, so. though, right? You could you could probably do that. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. like, yeah, call, him up. call could, Greg Spottiswoode. Right? Every day. Until it happens. Yeah, no, I actually... He's going to be at the <clears> thing <throat> on the weekend, too. Is he? I think he is. Wow. I'm not you sure. want to casually drop my... No. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> no, I know him quite well, actually, and... Um, I would love to work on that show. I'm, I'm, obviously working on this YTV show right now, so mm -hmm. it's, it's a pretty crazy schedule. But I, that Remedy's one I would love to work on one day. Nice. And some shows I watch, I like the show, but I don't know that I would do a good job. And Remedy's something that would be a really hard, good challenge, but I think I would love it because it's fast paced. Yes. There's some yeah. comedy in there. I've got um, a lot of medical people in my family. My dad's mm -hmm. a doctor. Oh, that's right. So, and my mom's a nurse. And all, all this stuff. Um, so I think it would be really, really fun. That's cool. Yeah, I just watched the pilot again last night at a screening, and it was it was interesting yeah. to see it again. I like so it. smart, so smart, Greg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, said, I think I said in my like my first review of the first two episodes is that I like it, but it seemed a little. Right now, it seems a little too hop, top heavy on the upstairs part, and not enough on the downstairs. Well, they but were I'm assuming they're going to bounce week. it out. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I think the first season, you know, you have to get to know oh, the yeah. characters, yeah. and so. They devoted each episode to one of the family members, and they no, really tried sense. to do yeah. that. But I think second season, his whole concept of it, he was saying last night, is was upstairs, downstairs. Mm -hmm. And so I think that'll yeah. start to really come out. Yeah, I mean, and not to speak ill of the show, because I already liked it. And oh, it's a great it, show. It is. It's mm -hmm. really, and, I mean, when I saw that it was, like, yet another medical drama, I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. But as soon as we started like, yes. seeing stuff with like the porters and all that, yeah. and, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this is what I want to see because you never see that. No, and there's some yeah. great actors yeah. in there. Well, there really are. Really, okay. really good. Tap in a couple, hopefully, to come in. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Diego. Uh, yeah, Diego's supposed to come in at cool. some point, fingers crossed. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah, so. He was, yeah, that Sarah was the thing. He stood out so much I don't from think that we've first. met her yet. If, but yeah. I am friends with Sarah Allen. I lived oh. with her in Montreal. No way. And, uh, I saw that on Twitter. She is. There was a <laughs> conversation. Twitter. Yes, yeah, yeah. She, she looked after my cat for one summer, and we always laugh about this because the cat's name was Fasha. And I came back after the summer, and I was like, Fasha, Fasha, and she wasn't responding to me. And then Sarah's like, Fasha. <laughs> I was like, you changed my cat's name. <laughs> Totally pronounced it's it wrong, awesome. and then the cat got used to it. Like, oh, That's funny. Basha. And that only took us what? Ten minutes before to cats get to started. Cats? Yeah. Cats. You already yeah. mentioned cats. Oh, yeah. the cameras weren't on yet. Yeah. It doesn't count. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I remember our first. We Sue and I had been looking so forward to our interview with you because we're like, what? We got Kate Hewlett because you were you were on our short list of people we really wanted to talk to that year. And You're crazy. <laughs> and then you said yes, yeah. and then. <laughs> The whole, and we, I had, that was back when I was still using like notes and prepping and, yep. and all this. And back in the day. Back in the when day. I used to prepare. It's <laughs> <laughs> the whole prepare. reason I invited you for tonight. <laughs> yeah. And then it got, went care. completely off the rails. I mean, in a totally good way. Yes, we just talked about cats yeah, and, and we laughed a lot. Yeah. I tried to listen yeah. to that interview. It was, it was, I mean, I did listen to that interview, but it was hilarious because yeah. there was so much background just, noise. Yeah. And then we were like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just mostly hilarity. Yeah, that's all it was. And, and it I did a lot of gesticulating jokes too, and it was just audio. Just, yeah. Didn't <laughs> change that. How about this? What about this? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and now we've got you back in the studio, which is fantastic. Yay. And we actually have like we're actually having a full on 
non-cat conversation. Right. Not that I don't love talking Mostly. about my cats Mostly. as well. Now I have a dog, so now I'm exactly. Right. Obviously, Who, is he gonna <laughs> get his own? Like, Let's talk about that. He needs his own Twitter feed. Though, I'm too, sorry, right? he's not here. He could have been. He could have had his first television <laughs> interview. That would have been Next like time. Good. We're in yes. talks with the Igor the pug dog, anyway. So. Okay. Well, mine's pretty cute, also. He's at home being angry right now. So I'm <laughs> all day. <laughs> he's asleep, probably. I came home yesterday. I'm sorry. No, and do then it. We will move no, on. No, do it. I came home yesterday, and nobody, it's a very small apartment, very shockingly small apartment for two cats and a dog, which made sense in Stratford, in a house. Does not make sense now. Anyway, <laughs> usually you open the door, and it's like, ah, no, no. And I open the door, and I'm like, hello. <laughs> There's nothing. There's no cat in the basket, which usually is a cat in the basket. No dog comes running over. I'm like, Dudley? <laughs> nothing. Myers? Enzo, nothing. I go into the bedroom, and they're all curled up on the bed together. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. <laughs> and they do the kind of, like, the lazy, like, Oh, you're oh, home. Oh, look, yeah. you're home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are exhausted. <laughs> the day we had. Yeah. It's so cute. Well, let me tell you. I tell you. Yeah. How were the cats when you got Dudley? Amazing. I am a little bit, I'm not a dog whisperer, nor am I a cat whisperer, but I am a dog and cat whisperer. <laughs> I'm very good at introductions. I see. I have to remember that. Cause yeah, if you I keep toying to... with wanting to get a dog, but Orville would not I've talked to myself out of three yeah. now in like a short span of time. It's very difficult. Yeah. It's the greatest thing I, I, it's the greatest decision I've ever made. Not that I've made a lot of great decisions, but <laughs> it is, a lot of people will be like, oh, you can't get a dog. It's a huge blah, 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 yeah. whatever. And honestly, it's the greatest thing ever. Worth it. Cuts your loneliness in half. <laughs> See? That's Gets why you out of the house totally. several times a day. Yeah. Even when you're writing and yeah. you were in your bathrobe, you have to leave. It's so true. Good. Makes me less Yeah, I guess there's that. Insane. Whereas I just, you know, I've got the two boys. And now that we're all telling the stories, I've told you the story all. But the camera hasn't heard the story. I have a cat named Orville. <laughs> named? Orville. Orville. Okay. A little black and white. I heard Orville. Orville. <laughs> Orville. That's okay. weird. Weird. It's odd. Awesome. And I've got, yeah. I have a, uh, a beanbag chair, okay. which Thomas the cat won't go anywhere near. Mm-hmm. Out at about 4 a.m. most mornings, all you hear is, shh, 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 <laughs> as Orville climbs into it and curls up and sleeps. He will spend days there. Aww. He loves it. And I'm like, I'll lean over the couch and go, Orville, what's going on? I just kind of look up and go, yup. And then just kind of, his head goes, <laughs> tsh, and, yeah. That's what Orville does. You know the one day you're going to wake up and you're going to hear, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, I guarantee it's, it's going. filled with tiny things yeah. that you will not be able to vacuum out. No. But he loves it. That's it's really just, cute. He's an idiot. But anyway, that's my cat story for the night. Okay. Boom. Are we all done with animals? Is it out of what our are we going to talk about now? <laughs> She's got nothing The now. industry. I but barely anyway. slept because of mine. <laughs> Every night. Yeah. So it's bad. Well, I think, well, well, this is the first Sex After Kids guest we've had on the show since the very successful, what, like five-week run that it had. It just kept going. Yeah. Jeremy Lalonde. I tell you. Apparently he knows what he's doing yeah, what sometimes. Yeah, was it? Three weeks I'm working on it again. Are you really? I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet. It's too late. It's already to. out there. It's out there. Yeah. Can't edit it out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I will just tell you the whole thing then. <laughs> <laughs> call you in a panicked way later. It's like, cut the episode. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's wicked. So I wrote a play called The Swearing Jar. Yes. yes. Yeah. I should have brought you a copy. Yes. Um, and yes, it was published last year. Wicked. And it was nominated for a Governor General's Award last year. So it, was a, nice. it got a little bit of attention, which was nice. And I sent it to Jeremy. And we're going to make it into a feature film. Sweet. Wicked. Perfect. He's going to direct. Nice. I have, I have already written the adaptation. We are both very excited. And wow. we are getting the cast together. Cool. Nice. Yes. Set visit. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Set visit, yeah. We've been so Your voice was way higher than mine on that one. I've been that was, I just want to point Set out. Visit. You're like, Set visit. Set visit. Set visit. Yeah. I yeah. think we're going to try and get it together pretty quickly if oh, we can get fantastic. some money. Um, <laughs> anyone out there who's just sitting on a beanbag chair filled with money? Um, yeah, we're, so that's, we, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get that together, but if, that's we, fantastic. if that all works out, we're going to do a little indie film. Oh, yeah. And I'm very excited about mm-hmm, it. Right? I'm excited about the screenplay. 
All the stuff I was not able to do with the play, I feel I was able to do here. Oh, that's fantastic. Because, you know, in a play, you can you can be like, this thing just happened, and it's fine, because yeah. the whole thing is set in the living room. But now I have to in write the film, that you have scene, to show it, yeah. And yeah. they have to show the characters that, yeah. The oh, that's characters. fantastic. Yeah, we've got some really good people on board. So. Oh, can't wait. It's yeah. not like Lalonde doesn't work with good people, so, yeah. Yeah, I know. He's, he is, I knew he was smart. And I knew he was a good director. He's probably one of my favorite directors I've ever worked with. Wow. Sex After Kids was what made me want to act again. Oh. Um, that's good, yeah. That's where I was like, oh, I like this. I actually really like this. It's just been a weird time. Couldn't have been anything And then every once in a while, somebody Crowder. gets a, a nice yeah, that, right. <laughs> I get to kiss that woman. Yeah. <laughs> and then, no, I love how he works. He's so, so good at his job. And the editing brain that he has helps a lot as cool. well. Yeah. And... And then, with this script, I gave him the play. He did not give me notes right away because I asked him not to. I, mm -hmm. I said, let me take a pass at the screenplay and just see what happens. Nice. And then he gave me extensive notes that were so good. You know when you read a note, it's, and this is a play I've been working on for like 11 years now. <laughs> and he would say, oh, in this scene, it seems strange that, this, that the main character is not in it because isn't it all from her perspective? And I'm like... <laughs> yeah, maybe you might be right. <laughs> Stuff like that, and and really good ideas for making it more filmic, and I'm very excited. Wow. Cool. So yeah. you gave Kate notes, <laughs> and you've had my book for like two years. Well, this is what happened though. We had a deadline. Right. Okay. We had a horrible deadline. We wanted to apply for a grant, oh. and we found out on Friday that it was due on Monday. Oh so my I wrote God. the screenplay. I shouldn't say this because then if I do get the grant they'll be like, lazy! Um, <laughs> but I wrote the you screenplay in three days. That's wow. insane. I just did the, one of those like bathrobe things where I just was like, popcorn, baby, popcorn, wow. dog out. And then... Um, I do that every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was good though. So I got it done. We got it, the package off and then we began rewriting Holy to get oh, it man. into a better place. Before we sent it to Wow. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's insane. That's fantastic. That's kind of how I do best, is when I'm forced wow. to sit down and, yeah. and get it done really quickly. Wow. So. I don't have any of those problems right now. I don't. Everybody's been kind enough to start sending us the links for, for stuff that's coming. Like, oh. we're going to Hot Docs, of course. Of course. Oh, Thank fine. you, Hot Docs. Yeah. <clears throat> and I've already sent them like my list and saying, I want to see this, I want to see this. And they've already oh. started sending me links. So I'm like, oh. No rush now. I can watch it at my leisure and just write it up. And cool. cause, yeah, I could not. Not that I don't like working under pressure like that. Because mm. there's a. I like the energy of working under pressure like that. Just the just the drive is like it has to be done. It has yeah. to be done. And I, and I love that. But I'm like, eh, if I can avoid it, I will. Because mm. that That's how I got my first <clears throat> book written though. It was for That's National Novel Writing Month. Yeah. <laughs> it was oh. like a, well, and I had like a pretend competition going with somebody who didn't know we were competing. <laughs> <laughs> and that person was Margaret Ashley. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <That'd be amazing. laughs> she didn't know. Uh, yeah, it helps, doesn't it? It helps. Yeah. For me, I think it's like when I don't have time to think about it. If I if I have three weeks that I'm like, oh my god, I'm so bad, I'm so bad at this, I'm never gonna be able to do like there's too much yeah. time to judge myself. Mm. If you have three days, you yeah, can't you waste just, a minute. Yeah. yeah. So you just You can't self edit or anything. You no. just gotta like yeah. type just whatever crap it. comes yeah. out. And wow. it's better. It's much better for me. Fix With T V I don't I don't wanna leave it to the end like that because it's already yeah. but the deadlines are already yeah. very oh, yeah. T V so No, I'm I'm sure we did talk about it originally way back two years ago now mm. um back in the audio days yes yeah. <laughs> when you write do you like is it just everything's got to be quiet i mean how do you write i mean do you write with music what do you no, do no i write you Two know what i've got dog. a lot of different yeah i've got a lot of different situations that work for me now stratford was a beautiful place to write mm -hmm. and i would write at home in stratford because i had an actual office and i had mm -hmm. a garden and <laughs> you know, like I was going to make something up, but um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, it was, so that was a great place to write. It was very quiet, actually, but I work in Toronto. I, I write at Jet Fuel, which is one of the noisiest coffee shops in the city. I mean, they play music that is like, leave, we don't want customers, leave. <laughs> like, honestly, that's how it feels like they're trying to get you to leave, and I love working there because wow. it's so noisy that it's almost like silence. Yeah. 
If I am sitting somewhere and there are two people having a conversation, I cannot work. Yeah. The train was very good. The train forced me to work. Okay. Because again, it's I'm stuck mm-hmm. and yeah. it's a certain amount of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I do find if I'm distracted by the actual conversation, I can't I can't shut that out. Yeah, that happens when I read. Yeah. Like if oh, somebody's yeah. sitting right in front of me on the TTC and I'm reading my book, I'm really enjoying my book, and then you just hear something that just kind of catches yeah. you. Like, wonder where this conversation is going. <laughs> right. I hate that. I find reading, I get much more distracted by everything. I wouldn't be able to run into jet fuel. Nice. But writing is somehow different. You I get distracted by pets and stuff. Shiny okay, I was going to say that, but I was going to be mean. I, I get distracted just, like, by the concept of the fridge. <laughs> you know, that I'm like, it's just right there. It's right there. What's in it? it? <laughs> like, and, and Do you guys want anything? Uh, yeah, I <laughs> am. And yeah, just the fact that there are animals to play with or sometimes yeah. a person to play with or not like that. You know what I mean. <laughs> I um, understand. Yeah, so. I will cover the jackal mm-hmm. walk into there. Hey, Jack Bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me just stop what I'm doing and <laughs> talk yeah. to you for a minute. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I see movement out of the That's corner of my eye. I feel like I should pay attention. <laughs> I'll, at least, I'll acknowledge them, but I'm like, I'm going back to this now, boys. You can join me if you want, but shut up. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. I can't even watch TV if Lynn wants attention. She'll just sit there and cry, <laughs> and then I can't oh. hear. <laughs> They're smart, aren't they? We're <laughs> they back on pets. Yeah, realize we're that's, back that's fine. Yeah, but they are smart. Thomas is smarter than he lets on. And I know for a fact he's smarter than he lets on. Yeah. Just, Plus, I feel bad, because I've already gone so much of the day. Like, yeah. the last few weeks <clears> especially, <throat> I've been like... Barely home. I get home to sleep and then I leave again. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I am so sorry. Like, they're starting to lose their little feline minds, I think. A little bit. <laughs> little feline minds. They attack me when I come Hello, out. London. We are feline minds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was doing here. Is <laughs> what, is, what is it? Yeah. No. Why can't I do that? Yeah. <laughs> I do Everybody's doing it now. <laughs> or, uh, and actually, wait, what's today? Today is, in fact, Leonard Nimoy's birthday. It won't be when this goes to air, ah. but happy birthday, Leonard. Come on the show. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Everybody yeah. else is doing it. Don't you want to be cool? Totally. <laughs> That's fit. Now, what are you watching at home that you'd like to be on? As a writer or an actor? Either or. I have been obsessed lately with Sons of Anarchy, which I discovered very yeah. late in the game. I haven't gotten into it yet. Me neither. I went on a tear. <laughs> <laughs> I watched six seasons of Sons of Anarchy oh. in about two weeks. Wow. Oh my God. And I was writing all day, and then I was like, must oh stop God. writing, and then I would just like watch Sons of Anarchy. And I was like, wow, this is violent. And then I go back to it. <laughs> it's a really violent show. Um, but I love it. It took me a while to get into it, which mm. all my favorite shows took me a okay. long time to get into them. You have to kind of sit with it. Yeah. yeah. Like Breaking Bad took me a long time to get into, and so did Mad Men, mm-hmm. and so did Masters of Sex, which I... I keep meaning to watch that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it. Sex. That's one of my favorites yeah. now. Yeah. Yes. I've got my sweetie on, what is it? I think we're about to watch episode six of season three of Game of Thrones. Okay. And we kinda, we've kind of junkied, well, I, I'd already seen them and read the books, so mm-hmm. like... And she's not, she wasn't quite sure about the whole fantasy sword and sorcery genre. I'm like, just give it a shot. We'll watch one. It's, it's a good way to start yeah. with that genre. And she's like, oh, let's watch another one. Let's watch another one. And yeah. we've, we've burned through like three seasons now in less than three weeks. So, yeah. yeah. Same Orphan way. Black, you did that. Orphan Black, we didn't like the space of I love that 48 show. hours. Yeah. We did the entire yeah. first series. Yeah. That's a show I'm I like very to be on. Right. It's coming back soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would love to act on that show. Yeah. I would not love to write on that show. That would be a tough writer. To that would be a tough, tough writer's room, I think. I I just think that would not be, I would not be playing to my strengths. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say this. My brain does not go like that. I would do it if I got the job. <laughs> but oh. I, it's not. I would rather act on that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a great cast as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. I love all the Canadian TV. I mean, we keep talking about that almost yeah. every episode, but Canadian TV right now is just amazing. I love Rookie Blue. I love mm-hmm. Remedy. I love Orphan Black. There's so much good stuff happening. There really is. Else that I love. Listener cracked. I haven't seen The Listener. Isn't that crazy? It's on like season 82. Of <laughs> I know. Totally. And I fine. have not seen it. But I Continuum Defiance. Continuum Defiance. Yes. I love Lost Defiance. Lost Girl. Which Bomb I girls you would be awesome on Lost Girl. I have 
audition once, I think. I think Emily, I auditioned once. come on. That <laughs> is a great show that I did not know about until I started doing research for a sci-fi thing I was writing. Mm. And I started watching it, and I was totally taken. I mm. love it. Great acting. So we call her. She's okay. <laughs> Whatever. Just, what has she done? I don't even like her that much. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter. No, and then uh, Anna... <clears throat> Silk? Anna Silk's yeah. adorable. Yeah. Crazy good. Yeah. yeah. She's ridiculous. Yeah. We yeah. love and you, And she's Anna. such a sweetie. She, I met her once. Mm. She was so, so nice. Yeah. But uh, she's very, very talented. She is. Yeah. It's that whole East Coast thing is what it is. Is she East Coast? <clears throat> New Brunswick. Just, we were yeah, actually, I think I nice. told her this story. I think we were, we were actually born in the same hospital. Mm. Short, short years apart. But. On the same <laughs> day. Close. Ish, it's very close. I think your birthday is close to mine. I think maybe that's Hugh Jackman. I can't remember. <laughs> because our last interview went so long, I need to. I need someone to be on the time because. That's why we have Kaylee. Because I have to meet somebody at a certain time. Ooh. Not that interesting. It's not oh. that interesting. And so <laughs> and if it was, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> um, but I just have to make sure I leave that's by right. seven thirty. No, that's right. That's or even seven. Yeah, seven thirty should be fine. That's all. Chicken? I'm doing now. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Yeah, time flies awesome. with us. See? It and does, and it gets away from us. It does. And That's it okay. Us. And I, it'd be terrible if someone's waiting at a restaurant. Like, <gasps> a restaurant? She's the worst. worst. You're the worst. Yeah. Katie Hewlett. Who feels the worst? I need that on a shirt. If no one ever. <laughs> I would wear that shirt. No, I would. <laughs> I guess I would. I would wear David Hewlett's the worst. Yes, you would. Yes, See, you would. See, we politely stayed away from you. You'd be like, I'm with the worst, a little arrow pointing at you. I'm with the worst, they'd be like, what is your duty? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry. Is no, that that's fast fine. Or? No, it just, uh, of course. We'll just, just do more later. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like just you don't time with you tends to fly. It flies with you does. also. Aw, of course. Any, any, course. should we do like rapid fire questions or no. something? Okay. We, you know, although... Well, what do you have coming up? Like, you've got Remedy, partial partial appearances on Remedy. I'm pretty much done on Remedy. Mm-hmm. I, I really do just talk about blood pressure very quickly, and then I'm gone. Which, anybody it's... who's interested, mine is doing very well. Good. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Remedy, hopefully there'll be more of that. Mm-hmm. That is happening until August, so that's wow. like cool. big, big long one. And what else? There's so Swear Avatar movie. Yeah. yeah, I really want to get, uh, get my hands on the, uh, on the book for that. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, and hopefully we'll shoot that soon mm-hmm. on, on the same way he's, he shot Sex After Kids, Which is really brilliant. try and yeah. work around everyone's schedule cool. and stuff. And what else? A um, few devel- development things that are kind of on the back burner. So busy. I think that's it. I wish we were that busy. I feel like we are busy. <laughs> well, we are. <laughs> you are busy. Like Look, at it's something. taken us about two years to find that's a date that works for both of us. That's that is true. Seriously, yeah, it's crazy. busy times. Yeah, that's awesome. Kate Hewlett in the studio. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I love Kermit. Anyway, how are you going to see that movie? Saw it. Oh, Saw it. and opening night. I liked it. As a matter of fact, I will go so far to say I loved it. I did okay. not love it as much as the first one. The yeah. first one being uh, the, the last, uh, yeah. like the yeah. The, the reboot. The reboot one. Is, yeah. I did not yeah. enjoy the reboot. Because mm. I love the I love the whole nostalgia factor in it. And that's kind of where I got my kicks from it. But that's probably why too, because it was like the first time in a long time you get to see the Muppets on the big screen. Yeah, maybe. No, but it didn't. I, I this one has them. Tina Fey. Mm. That's good. <laughs> is Jason? No. Nope. Okay, so it's Tina Fey for mm. kind of instead. No, uh, no. Tina Fey plays uh, a Bad guy? kind of. Well, she runs a gulag. And Ricky Gervais is the bad guy. Okay. Dominic Bad Guy is his name. <laughs> oh, so, but it's yeah. pronounced okay. differently. Bad Guy, because it's French. <laughs> and who is the lead? And Kermit is basically the lead. Any non Muppet leads? Uh, Ty, per- Ty Burrell. Ty Burrell. B U R R E L L. Okay. Yeah. But it was fun. For what it is, I enjoyed it. Okay, I yeah. will see it. Yeah. I will see it. But yeah. Okay. I do enjoy the Miss Piggy. <laughs> right? You did not give us an interview. Piggy. But we didn't know who to ask for. So we can't, uh, we can't it's going to happen. We have similar hair. Like, I can <laughs> be like, that's true. <laughs> we can be pretend. Awesome. <laughs> 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 Open the door. Open the door.
opens a whole new episode, and we don't have time for that. <laughs> the weirdest episode When it's ever. not freezing cold, though, yeah. for some reason, we'll just do more yeah. later. Yeah, ooh, that okay, actually good. sounds like a good idea. This is a little teaser. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kate, thank you so much for thank coming. You. It was so good to see you again. Because yeah, last nice time we saw you was at the screening. So yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. I'm glad we got to do this. Heck Hopefully. yes. Yeah, we'll do it again. I live very close. Excellent. So that's good. I do not. Ha! Ah, we work very close. That's so. true. We can do this again. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so mean. Uh, yeah, we can do this. <laughs> so Kate, thank you as always. Thank you. Kaylee behind the board. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Sue. Kim. We were back in the studio. We are. We did all right. A little bittersweet, but here we are. Agreed. We're good. Yeah. We're doing all and right. we'll see you guys next time because we will have cool stuff coming. I just don't know what it is yet. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank I just you. have to get out yeah. my bed and start setting things. Right. Well, me too. <clears throat> I was like, Tim.